What's the hurry? Albedo! Traveler, Paimon. I suppose your story is ready. Yep, yep! How the- No need. Paimon calls dibs! Please, go ahead. Okay, here goes. Once upon a time, there was an evil researcher who went into the mountains and did to whoever spoke to the- If the bypasser got the wrong answer- Ooh, truly frightening. What the- Don't go nitpicking, okay? If you did- in other words, the whopper flowers would- And then what? Go back to where the- Uh, Paimon made up- It's a good story. What for? Yes. You've got a real mean streak- Mine is a little- A great alchemist once created Subject One. Subject One, however, unbeknownst to Subject One, the alchemist had- Subject Two was one such failed experiment. He was- He saw all kinds of people on the mountain. And never in subject to his wildest imagination had he thought it possible for experimental life forms such as they to this was what subject two wanted now uh, uh, subject two began to unfold his plan he stole subject one's book he changed his face into an exact replica of subject one. and so not only did sub what but subject two wanted to become in my view, it was probably he so desperately craved to become a perfect subject to his plan was meticulously crafted. Subject three, the next moment the subject one, he would secretly replace the sub people would have no idea that the individual they knew had become somebody else from one day to the next. Uh, uh, but just before subject two, uh, what's wrong? He became a new stage in subject. It's as if there were three in all the world. People do not like. This is exactly. <sighs> Fortunately, Meta's monsters mutated with Durin's pop. <laughs> I'm glad to. The only thing is that as beings who set foot is creation an arrogant. If it is, nothing special. Whenever I think about it. Coral, hello. Hey, is the thought we might find you here? We're here to deliver a message from Cyrus. Winter camp is nearing its end. Looks like we need to go, Albin. Then I won't keep you. Don't worry about it. Is everyone ready? traveler I was telling you about. The tra- Joel has told me everything about- Wow! Wait a second. Why is Cyrus- Khaled is the hero of the hour this time. Go on. Okay. <clears throat> the weather was fine. Uh, but I had only been a- I fell down a- Uh-oh. Did my bad luck rub off on- The place I fell to was somewhere I didn't reckon- uh, Then I met Yozerv. He- Huh? I thought he must have been someone from the adventure. The temperature was freezing, and there was no time to deal with all that. We got back to the camp, ran into Joel, and the... M My memory has still not full... Daddy. <laughs> Daddy's right. Yo, Zerf, don't you remember the poor princess? I'm, I'm sorry. I woke up and found myself... I crawled into a cave, and... Dad. I'm all right now, Joel. Oh, this is good. You know what, though? I... I knew it. No, no, I... Besides, we got back safe. Pallet. <laughs> huh? A am I? Oh, yeah. You all helped look after... But I guess I can't take the snowman with me. Or it'll melt once it leaves dragons. Oh, I can help with that. One moment. Huh? Here, take this. It's powdered rhyme. Just add it to your snowman, and it will never melt. Dad, I have an... How can I ever repay you all? Thank you all. Dad, I want to... Okay. <laughs> very well, very well. It's time for Pallid and I to have another discussion concerning his... <clears throat> breaches of adventurer discipline. Huh? Uh, but, but, Cyrus... <laughs> oh, 
I made this for you and Amber. Think of it as a winter souvenir. Aw, are you- Come on now, just- Wow, now our snowman- You're welcome. Amber and I have some business- See you! <sighs> Everyone's good- <gasps> Oh, you know what? We've been on- Maybe we should try Timaeus again. Traveler and Paimon. Wait a minute. You've got that. Timaeus, will you help us? <sighs> well, if the traveler isn't really interested. No, but. Hmm. In the time it would take me to. New research project, Timaeus? We meet again. Oh, Albedo, thank goodness. Uh, so the. Majorly important. That's what it is. That's impossible. Turning fruit into juice is not hard, but keeping it fresh is more difficult, right, Traveler? What about his... What's wrong? Is there... from the look on your face... <laughs> Albedo, you were saying? Well, one way would be to bury your fruit under... But... then pun... You could always... No, no... Or you can give the fruit to... But since you don't like the cold... You'd have to... This is where you come in. Suddenly sounds a lot more feasible. Fruit buried on dragon spine will stay fresh for much longer. How? Oh, who knows? Maybe the next time you visit... But the Paimon will have to be a gardener. Oh? Well, I don't think being a gardener... Albedo! Stop trying to get your... Hmm? Of course it bothers Paimon! They're... Okay. But they're just sensitious when someone's pockets are full. 